What's up everyone, today I'm going to show you what John Bonham should have done. That's right, I'm going to make the ridiculously bold assertion that he should have played this other pattern all the time instead. I personally think it sounds a lot cooler, but this makes for some pretty good clickbait, let's be real. If you've studied John Bonham's drumming in any capacity, you very likely encountered his signature triplet pattern. Right, left, kick, or a lot of times he'd play it as left, right, kick. Either way, it boils down to hand, hand, foot. He'd play that pattern so ridiculously fast, and primarily on the tom-toms with some good cracks on the snare drum in there, and it just became this thunderous wall of sound. But I find that using that pattern in the context of a drum fill and getting back into a groove is actually kind of tricky, because at the very end of the pattern, we have a bass drum. It ends with a kick, so if we want to land on beat one with a kick and crash, we got to have two quick kicks in a row, and if we're playing this pattern blisteringly fast, Catching those two kicks is kind of difficult. Instead, we can do a permutation of this pattern. So if we take right left kick, but move the right hand stroke to the very end of the pattern, we have the kick in the middle. So the whole pattern becomes left kick, right, left kick, right, left kick, right, left kick, right, left. Since this is a three stroke pattern, it works nicely as triplets. And since the very last stroke is not a kick, it makes it a little bit easier to land on beat one with kick and crash. But if we play left kick right through an entire measure of triplets, then that means the very last stroke is a right hand stroke. And if you're a right handed person, you probably have a more natural inclination to land on beat one with your right hand. So we could just modify that very last stroke and make it a left. So if I were playing four beats of triplets with this pattern, I would play it like left kick, right, left kick, right, left kick, right, left kick, left, bam. And then you can land on beat one with your kick and crash and your right hand nice and easily. To begin getting this pattern down, practice it between only the kick and snare, and I'll kind of demonstrate this as if it's a fill taken out of context. So I'll have four beats of triplets with that last stroke turned into a left hand stroke, and I'll nail that kick and crash on beat one. When you're comfortable playing that pattern just between the kick and snare, try to use it as a fill in context. So now I'll play three measures of a groove, and then when I use it as a fill, I'm gonna begin orchestrating it as well. Trial and error is gonna be the best way to really personalize this pattern. So just take some time exploring some different options around the kit.
Cool, so this pattern works really nicely as triplets, but it also works just wonderfully as 16th notes. If I take left kick right and just fill a measure of 16th notes with that pattern until I run out of space, it works out so the very last 16th note is with your left hand, which makes it really nice and easy to land on beat one with your right hand and kick. So if I say this pattern at a 16th note rate while clapping quarter notes, it works out like three E and a four E and a left kick, right, 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 left, boom. It works out suspiciously well. Same type of thing as before, begin with just the kick and snare, and then as you build the confidence, try to work it into the context of a fill and begin orchestrating it around the drums a bit. When you get real confident with this pattern, you can combine the triplet and 16th note versions to create a two measure fill. And in this case, I'm not gonna modify that very last triplet. We'll still keep it as a right hand stroke. And that allows us to easily kick into it on beat one of the 16th notes leading with the left hand. If you like what you saw in this video, check out my Patreon page. Your support grants you access to transcriptions for this video, as well as transcriptions for all my other lesson videos. And follow me on Instagram, at drummerhar, to see more videos of my playing. I also teach private lessons both in person and remotely, so if you'd like to study with me one-on-one, -on -one, send me a message and we'll get something set up. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.
what John Bonham really should have done was not drink the equivalent of 40 shots of vodka in a single day and die.